Alright, what's going on, y'all? Not the real Will Smith and another for your mammy. We are here with a 2005 Acura TSX, and I want to actually touch on this airbag light to your right, SRS light. And to the left, we have um, the seatbelt unlocked light. So there's an issue um, with the seatbelt light, which in conjunction makes the SRS srs light come on at first i thought it was srs module but going through my scan tool i'll show you guys that it's not and i'm going to show you guys what that uh, code is so for the seat belt like that is on right that's pretty normal if your seat belt is not latched in but if i were to hold this here and wiggle it it goes off right and whenever the light goes off your seat belt is engaged but if you guys look it's not right and then it comes right back on wiggle it a little bit off wiggle it let it go push the button down it comes back on right so there's something wrong for the circuit so i'm going to show you guys what that code is so if we go in here we click on srs sws puh airbag system seat load bearing sensor pedestrian collision protective system it shows a fault one right we click on it read DCTs, which is the check engine light, right? But it's just a code um, that doesn't trigger the check engine light. You'll notice that that code is 61-10. 61-10 is just showing this specific Acura. They can go from 01 to, I believe, 11, um, past 61. Don't worry about that. Just know that this is specific for the Acura TSX. Um, open in left front seat belt buckle switch as you guys can tell when i wiggle it goes off right off and on off and on it's not on i'll go and plug it in the airbag lights on i mean the seat belt light is back on saying that the seat belt is unplugged but if i stick it in it goes away anywho if we go in here we go back and we look at data stream, I'm gonna show you exactly why it's an electrical issue. All right, yep, lights back on. So as we scroll down, there's live data, right? By the way, this is already DAG uh, 500 by Top Don, bought it about 150, 160 bucks on Amazon. It's a great, great tool. As we scroll down, you'll see right buckle switch and left buckle switch, unbuckle. What you're looking for is as I jiggle it, does it go to open circuit? And if it does, you know it's an electrical issue. It's not the SRS system. It's just throwing SRS system off. So, as I wiggle it, I'm gonna mess around with it. Let's see if I can get this on video for you guys. Open right there and then it goes back to unbuckle right that is what i want you guys to look at and if we even go on the live data let me click on it here well i actually don't want to record right now it's showing a value right this it's showing that there is a, a circuit to it. And because there's a circuit to it, that light will be on. Now, if I were to wiggle it, the light goes off, you'll notice quite surely it will drop. There it goes. No circuit, went right back up because that light went off and back on from here as I've shown you guys here, but you guys are actually seeing a lot of data. So simply, if we go to the side, you will notice there's a wire kind of right there, right where this little red, those are the phone cases, it's a little wire. We'll be able to replace that. Or you can go in here and clean the connection points. But I can guarantee you this is not the issue because when I plug the seatbelt in, it works fine. But as I wiggle it, right, there's a connector piece down there, the um, bolt here connects to that wire kind of goes under the seat of course that's what's causing the issue so i hope that this helps you guys 
um, kind of diagnosing that problem. From there, just reset your SRS system and just see if your light comes back on. Now, if this light comes back on, obviously, excuse me, it's something more, it's something else, but at least start there. All right, again, thanks again, guys. Take care, be safe, and this vehicle will make it another 100,000 miles with the proper maintenance.